Hello everyone and welcome to our Let's Play series of Deus Ex Human Revolution. This is Colonel RPG as usual, and I'm very happy that you chose to join me today as I go talk to Seraph. Uh, as uh, basically a debrief from, from the mission that we went in. However... This whole thing just brings back bad memories. I love working here, but it's hard knowing that at any second... God, I can't talk about it. Another bunch of radicals burst through the door like right now and start shooting. I know. It's so awful. Because you'd be the first to... I mean... You'd be... I'd be the first to what? Uh... Nothing. Forget it. The first one to see the new Spider-Man in cinemas. Maybe. Potentially. Can you believe those fanatics? I mean, they think taking hostages will get augmentations banned? They... Do they? That's a, the tiniest coffee cup over there ever in the existence of ever. Anyway, we need to get up there, I think. I'm not 100% sure. But nope, that I am 100% sure now because the because I'm looking at the mini map. The mini map tells us where, where to go. So we're going up. Oh, come on. Don't hide the city. Just show me the... Pr I'm telling you, Hugh. He might not have put the gun in Sanders' hand, but it was Taggart's speech to the UN that started all this. William Taggart is nothing if not a shrewd political operator. You know that, David. So for the sake of appearances, I have to look him in the eye and let him bullshit me? With a smile. Always with a smile. We'll talk later. Yeah, you wanted to see me? Yeah, how are you feeling? I've had better days. Well, when we're done here, check him at Dr. Markovic at the limb clinic downtown. Get her to get a checkup. If you insist. Listen, about Sanders? Yeah, about Sanders. What the hell were you thinking? Letting him slip away like that? I sent you in there to take care of things. You asked me to deal with the situation, and that's what I did. I see. I'm also starting to see why your superiors in the police force decided to blame you for the Mexican town riots. Christ, Adam. I thought you were ready for this. I am. Today's attack was just a shell game being run by somebody else. I intend to find out who and why so that it never happens to anybody again. Good, cause so do I. That hacker in Sanders' group, you're sure he was augmented? I pulled his cables out myself. Yeah, well the police are saying he's not, and they're refusing to let me see the body, no matter how much money I threaten to pull from their retirement fund. Well, maybe they didn't like being held off so long at the plant. Is that my head of security speaking? Or the ex-cop. Listen, Adam. I don't want to squabble about this. I need you to get to the bottom of it. You still got friends on the force. You think, uh... You think one of them will let you into the morgue? Depends who I run into. Get over to the station and find a way inside. Because if that hacker was augmented, his neural hub might tell us who he was. Contact me when you've gotten a hold of it. Boss. What you're asking me to do, it's not exactly legal. No, it isn't. You got a problem with that? Just figured I'd point it out. Oh, thanks. And believe me, if I had another option, we'd be taking it. But these past six months, seems like all the influence I built up in this city just dried up and blew away. Well, you were able to keep SWAT from infiltrating the plant until I got the Typhoon. Just barely. And now someone else is pulling strings to keep us in the dark? We need that neural hub, son. It's key to finding out who's behind these attacks. And taking up the men who did it. I'm on it. How do video games manage to screw up lip syncing consistently, time and again? I can't, I can't, I can't. I don't understand what technologies they use. Remember back in the day, Fallout 1 and 2? Those were the lip syncing days. 
even though they only have like four or five <laughs> mouth expressions. What do I have over here? Nai, uh, Ni Ashia returns in triumph. Ni Ashia Kim, the fully augmented Nigerian pop star, swept the planet. She, she's got a, she's got auto tune uh, in in her voice immediately, so, which actually that probably wouldn't be very difficult. Because vocal, well, I say it wouldn't be very difficult if you have technology to mess around with the uh, with bio enhancements. Vocal cord enhancement probably wouldn't be very difficult. To the point where you could probably just play music with your vocal cords. I mean, not... It wouldn't sound as nice as a, a speaker, but it... Yeah. Vocal cords are pretty powerful things. Well, the th mm, I'm saying that, but the thing is... Vo vocal cords are just part of the singing aspect and the speaking aspect. Obviously, part of the speaking aspect, because we speak with our tongues and with our lips. And with our... The teeth. Uh, but... Uh, because, you know, th that's how we make the sounds like the T sound. It requires the tongue and the teeth and... Anyway, it's, you know, how it is. Um, so I don't know if it would be feasible to just get the vocal cords to act like a speaker or something to that extent. Anyway, um, Niashia swept the Planet Music Award uh, Awards tonight in Los Angeles, winning in six categories her latest album, Yoruba, about her struggles with discrimination, poverty, and more recently, augmentation, has captured the hearts of fans worldwide. Afterward, Akim spoke to the difficulties of living with enhancements, quote, as a, a woman of color, living with augmentations is a challenge. You become a stranger in every culture, and Europazine is so expensive. Thank God I am blessed enough to be able to afford it. It is a struggle, but it has enabled me to continue doing what I love, performing. Uh, end quote. Critically injured during a terrorist attack in Lagos in 2025, Akim appeared at the PMAs for the first time in two years. Hmm. Yeah, the, the, that's, the, that's the thing that I was talking about before. Is the discrimination associated with the uh, with uh, augmentation sort of runs uh, opposite to other similar or to other discriminations in the world, where in, in regards to at least the poverty aspect of things, um, because you know discrimination based on I say discrimination, you know prejudice in general. It doesn't have to be full out discrimination, but prejudice against people who dress poorly, for example, in the intersection between that prejudice. And um, and and poverty, or uh, to the type of music that people listen to. Look at all these posted notes. This guy, seriously, you have posted notes, or um, discrimination against uh, fat people, or and also the the, inter the intersection between uh, weight problems and and eating disorders and poverty. It's uh, it's all related, but in regards to augmentations, it sort of isn't. It's sort of the opposite. I don't know. I mean, I do know. It's, it's. Did I need to talk to you again? I do know. It's a little bit tone deaf, is what I mean to say. <laughs> what I think. That hacker's not going to be sitting still for long. Oh. Get over to the station and find a way inside. You know, video game. If you worried less about trying to get me to move on and uh, worried more about, well, you wor what you what else, every other thing that you worry about, which is the, about you know giving us fully fledged world which it absolutely does or at least tries to um and that's really cool and that's why i, I don't move to places and the, the the hostages get killed adam were you just speaking to david i didn't know he'd finished his call is everything okay as well as can be expected right like i know what that means anymore the phone's been ringing off the hook ever since bill taggart's little press conference this evening taggart Sarah was speaking about him when i walked in What's the founder of the Humanity Front saying about us now? Oh, he's all sincere this time. Denouncing all the violence that's been committed against us, offering to come here in person to express his deepest sympathies. Right. No wonder the boss seems grumpy. Can you blame him? If it were up to Luddites like Tagger, you would have died on that operating table. The problem is, he knows how to play on people's fears. Tampering with human biology can be pretty scary. Tell that to all the war ants whose lives have been improved because of it. But if Taggart has his way, if he can sway popular opinion enough, then the United Nations will be forced to take a stand. Mark my words, that man is trouble. Hmm. 
We'll see. Remember me mentioning eugenics? Eugen eugenics. That's how it's pronounced. Uh, remember me mentioning eugenics and how the uh, Purity First crew here seem to be the ones more or less siding with with that sort of rhetorics. And remember me saying that it's actually the augmentations that have more of a problem uh, with eugenics and eugenics-like. Um, Please report to your office. Will do. Jensen? What? Say my name twice, I know. Um, yeah, that's me. Yeah, it's, uh, it's interesting. And especially when it comes to just calling them Ludites, I think the game really doesn't care for for uh, any pretense whatsoever that uh, that's my office up there uh, any pretense whatsoever that uh, Sarif Industries might might be like a another like the master in Fallout 1 for example or many I know I know or many 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 evil um, evil big bosses in video games of like oh I will take humanity to the next stage of evolution it's always the same same sort of verbiage as well, and misunderstanding of what evolution means. Uh, but it's, it's easy to trans to uh, it's easy to talk to the player in those terms, so it, it gets used over and over again. Hello. Hey, what am I doing here? This is nuts. What are you doing here? Hey, Jensen. Man, it's good to see you. I'm glad you're back. How are you holding up? I manage. I'm sorry about Megan. I know it must be hard. For a while, we thought you were a goner, too. Everything's going to shit. The attack on HQ, and now this mess with the factory. Yeah, tough times all around. How about you, Corella? You okay? I don't know. I... Uh, I fucked up. I mean bad. What happened? Well, a couple of months ago, me and Tyndall, you know, one of Pritchard's techs, we started sneaking out some neuropazine from one of the labs. Jesus, Tim. You realize this could get you fired. Worse, arrested, if the company chooses to prosecute. What were you thinking? I know. It's just... It's complicated. I didn't want to do it at first, but there were good reasons. Anyway, now I want out, but Tyndall has security footage of me stealing the stuff and says he'll expose me if I ever stop helping him. I'm in a bad spot, Adam. I need that footage back. I know you're busy with everything that's going on right now, but I could really use your help. How about Tyndall? Can't you reason with him? You could try, but Tyndall's a pretty driven guy. I mean, the guy's like a rock. You need a Casey Og or something to crack him. Casey? Social Enhancer. It's an augmentation designed to read people's reactions and behavioral patterns. Higher end series even allows you to directly influence people with pheromones or something. With pheromones. Pretty ballsy stealing a patented drug from a secure lab. How'd you manage to do it? Both Tyndall and I worked the night shift every other week. I stashed the neuropocene in a bag while he edited the security footage. Guess he kept part of it. Neuropocene? What could you guys want with an anti-rejection drug for augmentation patients? Reselling it? Providing a competitor? Why do you automatically assume I was trying to turn a profit? Because... <laughs> be, we, be, well, because we live in a society, but also because why else would you be doing that? You're stealing things. That either, even if you were, you, even if you needed neuropazine, unless neuropazine is given out for free, which it obviously isn't, because otherwise you wouldn't need to steal it. Um, even if you were in need of neuropazine yourself, it would still be for profit, because that way you don't need to pay for it. It's like, he, 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 and he's clearly not augmented, so he, I, don't, I don't think he needs neuropazine. What is it exactly you need me to do? I need you to get back that security footage Tyndall has on me. It's probably in his apartment. On his computer, maybe. So what? I just look him up in the phone book? His apartment is near Brooklyn Court. It might be tough to get in because his building has a large security gate protecting it. Well, that's just great. Hacking the security gate is possible, but would require advanced hacking skills. You might have to look around for an alternate path. Maybe use the fire escape or something. <laughs> advanced hacking skills is the biggest 
<laughs> is the biggest throwaway. So uh, this is like, oh, you you need to high high skill high hacking uh, skill level, um, because that's what it, he's saying. In reality, you would just say you know things like you'd need the right tools, or you'd need to be able to know how to bypass this sort of encryption. Or he would have absolutely no idea if it requires high hacking skills or if it just requires you to jump to wires or, I don't know, pop a... a, a like, seriously, security systems are so hackable a, a lot of the time. All you need to do is... No, all you need is most of the time is just to know how to, uh, to hack them. And when I say hack, I don't even mean, like, a, with a computer interface. I mean, like, it's just good old school hacking of, of like pressing two buttons and it opens or even just or actually just pushing a, a, a drill into one particular spot and it opens or something like that there's videos on youtube about like stuff that is commercially available and it has been commercial commercially available and commercially successful for years and years and years and people just showing how to hack them because well that's that's how security is done is uh, you show how things are hackable and then people get an incentive to not use those um that's, you know, because security through obscurity is not security. That's, that's, yeah. And I should care about this because... Damn, Adam. Are you really going to shake me down like this? That's cold. I'm hurting here. Look, I may be able to get my hands on a weapon mod for you. Jeez, I never thought I'd have to buy your help. <laughs> I like how Jensen was just, like, looking elsewhere, just like, mm, yeah, sure. While he was saying, oh, come on, I'm sure I'm hurting. Are you hurting? For what? Profit? All right, tell me more. Really? Wow, thanks, Adam. I thought I was done for. The security footage will probably be on his apartment computer. Meet me in front of the subway station parking lot once you get a hold of it. I got it from here. That wasn't... That wasn't very much tell me more. That was just... Is this a Roomba or is it, it, is it a scale? And I say Roomba, but isn't Roomba, like, trademarked? Did you get it yet? Adam, please. You have to get that security footage back. Seriously? Let me get back to you. <laughs> Did you really ask me that? Okay, we're good. Let's see what we have. Adam, I really don't mean to bug you, but this is Athene Margulis. Actually, I might be able to go to Athene's executive assistant. Who is this person? There's wine. I'm taking wine. Why do I have a bottle of wine in here? Did you leave a bottle of wine here? You know, I, I like whiskey better. I don't know. What I what would JC Denton drink, actually? Anyway, we have to find the... Uh, there it is. So these are emails. And they, they say they're new, but that's a lie. It's None of these are new. I really don't understand why they say they're new. But they're they're not. It's, it's fine. And the ebooks, uh, they're all, n none of them are new either. So, wait, what? Change location? Oh, right. Interesting. Yeah. The, just, yeah. But, the, mm, interesting UI. The, but it's fine. It's curious enough. Okay, so we have two praxises, which is great. Because I'm going to get that uh, centipede thing that he was talking about. It's not called the centipede. Whatever he called it, I don't remember. The one where I can squirt pheromones at people. Social enhancer. That is the one. Analyze people and persuade them. Yes. Activation cost of two. Absolutely, I will. Buy me that thing. Are you sure you want to activate this augmentation? Yes, please. And um, so use analyze people and persuade them into following certain courses of action. That's... Yeah, because people can't do that normally unless they have augmentations. But I'm just kidding, obviously, because this is clearly like a uh, an enhanced version of that, rather than the only people who can do that. Uh, actually, I said I am the only person who can do it because um, you're gonna see what happens when we mess with that particular augmentation. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. You know what? That camera is stopped. What happens if I try to hack this? I can't. Because I'm bad. I could have used my praxis to increase my hacking, but I will have enough time for that later. Not a big deal. Uh, what I did want to look at is our quests. 
missions. There it is. So all of these are updated. We have a side quest, Lesser Evil, Steam Corella, a researcher at Sarif, asked me for my help. Uh, that is the Brooklyn area. That's outside. Oh, that's the Neuropazine thing. Was that Tim Carell that I talked to? I think so. The police moved the body. Of, yep, I need to go into the, su the suicide, into the um, into the police station. Sarif insisted that I see Vera Markovic, the doctor who has been monitoring my recovery. She works in the Second Avenue Limb Clinic down the street from Sarif Plaza. And uh, that's where we're going. We're going outside. Everybody cleaning their super low res screens. Although, I say they're super low res. I think that is. We are still at a situation where making this sort of stuff is is, is, uh, is cost efficient and energy efficient. The objective screen details your current missions. Very nice. I like that. That is so nice. Hidden areas will net you small XP rewards when discovered. Yes, they will. And also, um, hostages dead, dying. They will also. Mrs. Reed. <gasps> Adam, I'm sorry you startled me. And please, call me Cassandra. You and Megan were together long enough. I was waiting for you. Out here? Why not come meet me inside? I don't know. I guess I'm just not ready. But this is where you work. But to me, this is also the place where I lost my daughter. Honestly, she should have said, please call me mother. That would have made more sense in all accounts uh certainly because well i don't know it's i guess each person each, each person uh and uh, different person people have a different um way mother is a little bit too familial though uh but still for her to correct me is i think more of a, a, a vestige of us being like who are you <laughs> rather than um rather than uh, how she would normally speak. She needs to introduce herself in a way that is not clear that she's talking to the player rather than to J.C. Denton over here. Um, did I call him Jensen? I, I call, which one is the right one? I don't think it's J.C. Denton. I think it's Jensen. Yeah, I think it's Jensen, not J.C. J.C. is from the first game, uh, or, which is in the future. So this is how I will react. Empathetic and sympathetic. I guess I never thought of it that way. Or, I know what you mean. Yeah, let's go with that. I know what you mean. It's never been the same for me, either. I guess it's not meant to be easy. It seems there's just no right way to deal with something like this. And I can't even begin to imagine how things have been for you after all you've been through. Yeah. A lot of things changed six months ago. I can't get over how much they've changed you. At first, I couldn't even believe you were still alive. How do you handle all of this? I never asked for this. They say they saved me, but I'm not sure saved is the right word. I understand your anger. I wouldn't take too kindly to people making that kind of decision for me, either. But that being said, I for one am glad that you're still among us. Can I ask why you wanted to see me? Yes, of course. I'm sorry. I'm here about Megan. About what happened to her. Or rather, about the investigation into what happened. What about it? Well, simply put, I feel something is not quite right with the way the case was handled. You think there was some foul play involved? I do. Call it mother's intuition. But when speaking to some of the investigators, there were a lot of inconsistencies. And then I met this detective, a man called Chase. He agreed things weren't handled by the book, although he has no proof. And now you want to find out more? I'll never hear my daughter laugh again, Adam. I'll never get a call from her to ask how I've been, or have the chance to ask her about her day. She was stolen from me. However unjustified this all is, I still want to know why it happened. You're not the same, Adam. And we've yet to see if it's for better or worse. But I know you loved Megan. Please, will you help me find out what really happened to her? I chose to go with a... It's the second time I choose to go with a, a conflicted Jensen. Because I think it just makes for a more interesting um, viewing experience. I don't think the game really goes into too much detail in regards to your choice in that matter, in just you being... I think it's just for flavor is what I mean. 
Um, so, I don't. I think at the end of the day, it's going to be inconsequential whether I'm being like, oh, I didn't ask for this, or oh, no, this is pretty baller. I look at these cool glasses, and they disappear automatically if I don't want them in my head. Um, but um, they they they're also polarized. The, the, because you know you can't see the eyes. He is. He showed his eyes, right? We we can see his eyes. We saw his eyes right at the beginning of the game, though. I think. Anyway, we're out of time for the day, so uh, we're gonna get into this particular quest in the next episode. For right now, I'm Colonel RPG, and this has been Deus Ex. Uh, HR. Um, I know it's HR. Human Revolution. That's the one. <laughs> I really hope you've enjoyed it, and if you did, go ahead and leave a comment. Like the video if you want to see the next episode come out sooner rather than later. But above all, thank you so much for watching. And I hope I'll see you next episode. Bye-bye.